Uh, so we've got stuff to talk about around nougat because nougat is a thing that exists. It exists uh, now. It's officially official. It yeah? officially exists. Okay, so show of hands at the table, who now has nougat on their device? Ra- Ra- oh, oh Ron's right. on the next bit, Robin. Bingo. But. But does Nexus Nine? Oh yeah, the Nexus but, Nine. But uh, well, yeah, I haven't. I just I haven't upgraded the Nexus Nine. Okay. I could do it. I haven't done it yet. Um, but I don't want to spoil the thunder on next bit. But there's a reason why I'm okay with waiting. So okay. that's all right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we'll talk about that in a second right. here. Uh, who is getting ne- a nougat right now? It's rolling out to Nexus 5X, the 6, the 6P, the 9, the Player, and the Pixel C. Those are the... Player. The Player. Nexus Player. Don't, don't hate the Nexus Player. <laughs> Just hate the game. Just hate... Hate yeah. the game. Because yeah. the, the game, game is what makes the Player play. Mm-hmm. And sometimes <laughs> it plays games that you hate. Yes. Maybe you don't like those games, so yeah. don't install them. Um so there you go. Uh, so you, if if you're into you know flashing the image, you you can't wait or whatever. You can do that. I also noticed that, um, or at least I heard anyways, that if you aren't getting that OTA yet, you can opt into the beta, and what it pushes to your phone is the official. So that's one way, one way of getting it immediately. So um, I don't know, uh, Mateo, you have it. What are your thoughts? Um, I've been using the the preview since uh, I believe it was announced in March and I've been going through each alpha and beta test uh, as it's been going mm-hmm. that I've been doing it on my Nexus 6P and my Nexus 9 and the experience on the two devices has been very very different whereas on the Nexus 6P it was usable almost from alpha level the Nexus 9 only became usable in the last couple of releases. Oh, interesting. So last night I updated both devices to the new version, to the final release version, and the Nexus 9 improved further, whereas the Nexus 6B was pretty much the same. Uh, It's also interesting to see how Google have rolled out out this update. So if you're in the beta program and you're uh, playing around with the previews, it was just a small incremental update of around about 40 to 50 megabytes, def- depending on device you were using. Yeah, it was a really Whereas easy update. It was easy, painless, and much faster than doing a full-on OS update. Mm-hmm. So I think that's both a reward to the to the testers and testament to the fact that the final uh, beta release was pretty close to production stuff. So... It was really Everything quick. Seemed- mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, a quick so download because it's such a small size, I mean, compared to, you know, getting the, the full image, you know, uh, apparently they were able to kind of work it out so that you didn't have to download everything. It was just kind of an incremental upgrade on top of what you already had. And I also noticed upon the first boot when Leo, um, when Leo got the update on his 6P, he did the reboot, it did the Android stuff, blah, 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 and we were waiting because I didn't notice on mine whether it skipped past the optimizing apps part, which is one thing that they said they were going to fix, that thing that takes forever when you update. And sure enough, it got past the Android logo and went right to the OS. So. I did not even watch that. Hallelujah. I started at the beginning of a meeting and then I came back to an updated phone. And yeah. I have to say, I've been having nothing but problems with the 6P for the last like uh, three weeks since mm-hmm. I, so I haven't been using the beta until the last couple of weeks oh, okay. because I was doing a bunch of pre-writing and, and pre-testing. Yeah. Um, and I didn't want to use it because I was afraid that it would ruin my day-to-day life, even though everybody else had said that it would be fine. Well, mm-hmm. unfortunately, it wasn't for me. It was just, it was so frustrating. On the beta? On the beta. Okay. It was so frustrating. I wanted oh. to throw my phone out the car a couple times. It was so bad. I'm happy you didn't do that. Me too. Yeah. Um, I've dropped this phone enough. <laughs> uh, but now it's a lot more smooth sailing. Yeah, not, not encountering any of those I'm not having the same like issues. Bluetooth issues. Yeah. I'm not having, um, you know, it's not just like locking up on apps. Like apps aren't crashing as often as they used to. Good. You know, the camera app actually works. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, I, man, I did not encounter any of that stuff. It's weird how it's, it's one experience for one. Maybe I just got a bad horse, you know? Who knows? Yeah, you never really know why or why not. Yeah. Um, Main features, let's see, multi-window support, quick switch, multitasking. Some of the, a lot of these we've already talked about, but, you know, if it's officially released, this is what you can look out for. Multi-window, quick quick switch, which I use all the time, new emoji, uh, Vulkan API, 
for the kind of nice improved graphics capabilities. Daydream VR is built in, but um, we'll t and we'll talk a little bit further about this in a second. But we're not really seeing anything with that quite yet. Uh, an improved doze mode, which is basically taking the doze that used to that still does work when you set it down and it's inactive on a table, and just putting that to work when the screen is off. Mm -hmm. So it's like all, all the time improvement, essentially, if your screen is not on. Uh, new notification shade design, customizable quick settings, quick reply and direct reply and notification, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, bundling of notification, data saver. I know you, you wrote about data saver a little I bit. I use data saver because, you I know, I'm on Big up. Red and everything costs me an arm and a leg. And that's per app, so you can set it up and say this mm -hmm. app can. Yeah, but has I just have it to do everything. Data. I just everything is data saving. Blanket. And data it's amazing because the minute I walk into the house, I realize how many Instagram notifications and things like that I'm missing out on, and I'm glad. It's kind of nice to not get everything. No, it in is. Real time. It really is. I really like it. I'm like, yeah. just leave me alone for a while. <laughs> right. Let let you focus. You get your stuff when you want it on your on your yeah. own. Yeah. But I will. I I did want to add that. Um, kind of the bummer with every new OS is that the apps that you love to use are not readily compatible mm. with the new OS. So what OS. are you encountering? What, what apps? Or are there uh, a couple certain apps? Of, a couple of personal apps that I use, um, I've had to uninstall. And I've actually mm. like emailed support and, and stuff like that to ask them about it. And so they're like, sorry, we're not ready for Android, for Nougat yet. So Nougat. like they knew about it. So I kind of appreciated that, but yeah. it's kind of a bummer. It is what it is. It, this happened with Marshmallow, too. Um, one thing that's interesting here, let me see. I want to make sure that I'm not taking this from somewhere else in the doc because I think certain things got, I moved things around a little bit, uh, is this uh, the fact that it's moving to a different update schedule. Mm -hmm. So basically what they're doing with NuGet starting now is they're going to have a regular maintenance update schedule and uh, that's really going like to Like the security effect. updates. Yeah. You can expect them once a month for the most part. That's really cool. So now you can expect more consistent software updates, like regular mm -hmm. housekeeping. I love that. It's like having, mm -hmm. you know, a nice old lady come and clean your phone <laughs> once in a while. Like, just give it a little boost. <laughs> Jeez. Knock, knock. You know, just come in and dust in? off the shelves. And <laughs> Oh, boy, your figurines are sure getting dusty over here. <laughs> your icons. Speaking of... Later Speaking of nice ladies, uh, Cyanogen <laughs> Mum. Do you oh, remember yeah. her? I remember yeah. her, yeah. Well, I haven't called Cyanogen, her in a while, but... I'm pretty sure Cyanogen Mod, who's a loosely related uh, person to Cyanogen mm -hmm. Mum, mm -hmm. uh, did rolling OS updates, didn't they? Well, they... Yeah, so they had a, a... Did not look entirely into their news, to be honest, but I do know that they announced the new version. So is that going to be the new version based around Nougat? That they announced essentially. Uh, I think so, but as far as a release of an operating system goes, uh, Google has made it a more regular occurrence, right. uh, with more incremental updates, which is exactly what Cyanogen have been doing for the last few years. I got you. The now I got the thread. Okay. No, you're right. That's a really good point. And actually, that was one of the things that I looked forward to when I was used to roming and all and all that is knowing that I would always have this update. I mean, after a while, it kind of got a little inconvenient because I just wanted to live life. I didn't want to spend all my time flashing wrong. But but it was kind of <laughs> nice when I was really into it to know that like, oh, these new updates are going to be folded into this next update. The, the updates almost always happen every couple of weeks or whatever the frequency is. So now, yeah, that's a really great point, Mateo. Now that's kind of what you're going to see on Nexus devices with NuGet. Of course, that's Nexus devices, and uh, which is not as appealing for devices outside of the Nexus family, and maybe more of a reason to to get a Nexus. Maybe device. more of a reason. Maybe. What do you think, Ron? As as the non Nexus device owner uh, at the table or on the show. Well, I mean, I'm super jealous. <laughs> I mean, of course. I mean, this is. I think this is the first uh, rollout that I haven't been there on the front lines with you all. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. I'm I'm very I'm green with envy. Although you know, uh, although I, I do find it funny that the one thing about all the o Android OS updates that happened over the years was that apps updating that you mentioned that now isn't happening. Mm -hmm. So after you know the last time I upgraded to the latest version of Android, I sat there for an hour and a half waiting for all the apps to optimize, and so I'm looking forward to that happening. But yeah. um, yeah, no, I mean it's it seems. Well, cool. I've been I've been reading all the posts and I've been you know understanding what the changes are and all that stuff that's going to happen. Um, so I'm just kind of I'm ready and waiting. 